Hi guys and welcome back to CAT TNTs. In today's video, we will learn a simple way of creating a knurl around a sphere surface, something like this. We often see knurl around cylindrical surface. Rarely can we see it on a surface such as sphere or cone. We all know that knurling is not only for its appearance but also for gripping improvement. As we see here, knurling around spherical surface is not the same as knurling around cylindrical surface. The diamond shapes on the equator are different from the diamond shapes near the pole due to the topology of a sphere where the line will converge to the pole. Ok, no more theory, let's dive into the design. Let's create a new part studio. The first step is similar to the steps of creating spherical helix path, so let's repeat it. Let's choose the front plane, click sketch, press N, let's choose midpoint line and let's draw a line, let's say 100, then press A and something like this. OK, then let's choose Revolve, Solid, New, let's choose this sketch and the vertical line as the Revolve axis. OK, now let's choose the stop plane, let's offset it down to 50, then OK. Let's hide it and let's create a sketch on it. Press N. Let's draw this circle. So let's give a dimension to this circle as small as possible. So maybe let's say it's 2. Okay. So accept it. Now let's go here and choose helix, circle and let's choose this circle and let's choose a height of 100, the same height of a sphere and the target revolutions as 0.5 something like this so press ok now we have this this line something like this see now let's choose again the new plane we have created and let's create a new sketch we can hide this one and let's press N. And let's press L to create a new line. We can set the dimension, yeah, 50 not 500, it's okay. Okay, now let's create, let's choose sweep, choose the line, surface, choose the line here and choose this as uh, sweep path, something like this, press OK. Now, from here, let's go here and then choose intersection curve and 
choose this as group 1 and choose the surface one as group 2 and press ok now let's hide this and we can delete the surface one we still need this uh, part okay now okay now let's choose the right plane choose new plane choose plane point and choose this point press ok now let's hide this one and let's create a new sketch here ok let's use this point and press L and let's create a diamond shape something like this so let's select these three points and make it vertical sorry it's already vertical so let's choose this one these three points and make it horizontal and let's select these lines and make it equal now let's choose this distance let's say 2 and let's choose this and let's say 2.25 so something like a diamond shape press ok now let's show again our part 1 let's hide this plane too and go to sweep solid remove the sketch will be this one and the path will be this so we have this kind of groove see press ok let's hide this curve and now let's mirror this last feature so click on mirror make sure you choose feature mirror and check reapply features and the features to mirror will be the sweep to and our mirror plane will be the right plane so we have something like this next show the sketch one let's create a circular pattern from the last two features and make sure again we choose feature pattern and for the feature we choose sweep to and the mirror and the axis will be the vertical axis make sure you check these reapply features every time you choose you use feature pattern make sure you check this one whether you use circular pattern or mirror pattern or even with with linear pattern now we have something like this okay now let's increase uh, the instance count to a number of let's say 38 okay now we have our neural shape like this see then okay and we can hide the sketch one so the next step let's remove this uh, small cylinder on the top and on the bottom so yeah it's still loading but I think I can uh, do it 
do this one press n doesn't work press C something like this and let's let's create a circle let's say five that's okay press ok and go here and solid remove the sketch will be this one the depth will be two and reverse direction something like this press ok and do the same uh, to the next one but anyway we can use mirror feature feature to mirror will be this one make sure you choose reapply this one and will be this top plane okay now to make it nicer let's go again to front plane and create a sketch press n go again uh, choose again midpoint line something like this let's say this one is 97 something like this and press A here from here to here this one okay press okay and revolve solid it's add so let's choose sketch 6 sorry sketch 6 okay let's go new then sketch 6 oh something is wrong here let's press A again A A okay and you can turn it on revolve add sketch 6 sorry and revolve merge with all and okay It's done. The final shape of the sphere with Nerl is like this and I hope you've learned something new in this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.